Welcome to class 7 mathematics classes we are in data handling exercise 24b question number 7 the daily wages in rupees of so wages in rupees okay of 100 laborers in a factory are given below so here it is 260 the daily wages 280, 420, 320, 400, like this, okay, and number of laborers are given here, 360 wages, 360 rupees are getting by 17 laborers, 280 rupees by 10 laborers, like this, okay, now we'll arrange this one, in ascending order okay so arranging solution arranging the terms in we get here yeah, 280 daily wages okay 280 is the smallest or the lowest wage okay daily wage and highest is 400 20 so 280 10 laborers are getting okay and then 300 8 laborers 320 27 laborers 360 17 laborers 380 4 laborers like this we have to arrange 400 16 laborers and 420 18 laborers okay now we will prepare cumulative frequency table okay now here daily wages in rupees okay this one will be xi number of laborers this one will be fi okay and here cumulative frequency so here we have to write this one as daily wages to, to starting from 280 to 420 okay and number of laborers here then we'll find cumulative frequency here okay so let us write here 280 and here 10 here 300 here 8 like this and here we'll find cumulative frequency that is the total frequency total frequency of 280 is 10 now we'll add this and this 8 will get here 18 18 plus 27 okay we'll add in this manner this one will write here 10 plus 8 18 18 plus 27 here we'll write we'll get 45 okay 45 plus 17 we'll get 62 62 plus 4 here 66 66 plus 16 we'll get 82 and 82 plus 18 will get 100 okay so here 100 so like this we prepare cumulative frequency which will help us to find the median of the wages okay so total number of terms here is 100 okay it's given in question also there are 100 laborers okay total number of Terms is equals to summation fi the total of this also will get 100 so this one is represented by capital n it is it is equals to 100 okay which is even so which is even so for that we have the formula to get the median median will be here median of 
daily wages will be given by half into n by twelfth observation plus n by two plus one eighth observation. Okay, here is the important step. So here n is hundred hundred by two is fifty fiftieth observation here fifty by two is no hundred hundred by two is fifty fifty plus one is fifty one fifty one eighth observation okay now to see the fiftieth observation the value of fiftieth observation will lie in between this forty six to sixty two up to here is forty five so forty six to sixty two is the two hundred sixty okay so here fiftieth observation the value is two hundred sixty okay so all the laborers which are in this group getting three hundred sixty as the wage okay so fiftieth observation will be equal to as three hundred sixty the value of this and value of fifty one observation will also lie in the same range okay so forty five to sixty two or forty six to sixty two for up to forty five is three hundred twenty so here fifty one observation that is fifty one labor will get three hundred sixty only okay so the sum of this is seven hundred twenty and half of this is three hundred sixty rupees three hundred sixty as the median of daily wages we got here okay question number eight the heights in centimeter given of thirty five students of a class are given below okay heights are given here so here hundred fifty seven hundred fifty two these are the heights in centimeter and number of students having the heights are given here okay so hundred fifty seven centimeter are of seven students okay height of seven students hundred fifty two centimeter heights of four four student like this it is given here first we will arrange in ascending order okay so let us arrange it so here i have arranged it starting from hundred fifty two to hundred fifty seven lowest height is hundred fifty two centimeter and highest height is hundred fifty seven centimeter so hundred fifty two hundred fifty seven i have arranged hundred fifty two four students hundred fifty three three students like this i have arranged hundred fifty four five students hundred fifty five nine students hundred fifty six seven students and hundred fifty seven seven students now we'll prepare cumulative frequency okay now so we prepare cumulative frequency table here here is height in centimeter number of students height is a xi number of students fi here cumulative frequency okay so height is given here we'll just fill this and number of students given here we'll fill this okay then after we'll find the cumulative frequency okay as 152 here 4 153 here 3 okay 154 here 5 155 here 9 here 156 here seven okay and hundred fifty seven also seven here we'll prepare cumulative frequency hundred fifty two is four hundred fifty three this will add four plus three seven seven plus five twelve twelve plus nine twenty one twenty one plus seven twenty eight twenty eight plus seven is 35 okay sorry this is 35 so here 
number of students is equals to 35 students so n is equals to 35 which is odd so total number of students is equals to 35 which is odd which is odd number of observation okay so median will be given by median height will be given by the formula n plus 1 by 2 -th term so here n is 35 35 plus 1 by 2 36 by 2 is 18th term isn't it so 18th term will lie between this 12 and 21 that is the height is 155 isn't it so here 18th term is 155 centimeter and this is the median height okay thank you very much